everybody, welcome back to Snack Testers. Sorry that we did not have a new Snack Testers episode last week. Uh, unfortunately, Big had to deal with some uh, legal issues regarding, I think, the, you sat on a baby and killed it? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? You crushed him, he's dead. Oh yeah, the baby was here. Yeah. They, uh, they threw me in jail overnight, but then I had a court hearing and they said, you know, time served was enough. But then I just took, you know, the week to relax and kind of blow Time off served? How much time did you serve? The one night. Yeah, just one yeah, night in yeah. prison for sitting on a baby and killing it? Yeah, I felt it was justice done right, you know? Now, I'm wondering how they found out about it, because as far as I know, people do not watch these videos. How did the court find out? Um, well, the parents were in the background behind the camera True. screaming they and were, crying. They were pretty upset. And, uh, yeah, so... You should have been at that funeral, though. My parents were so disappointed that I let my friend kill my cousin. It's <laughs> fucking hilarious. I bet it was. I wish I could have seen it. Yeah, t you were in, in prison that day? For your one day? <laughs> that night? They, they scheduled they, the funeral? They, the funeral was the night of. <laughs> they just got a shoebox. Well, in case you're thinking, man, these guys sure are lacking energy in this video, don't you worry. We are doing a taste test tier list of 12 almost randomly selected energy drinks found at my local gas station. So if you do not see your favorite drink represented here, I'm sorry we could only deal with what we could find at the gas station. Uh, so if you have any recommendations, let us know. But let's see if we have any recommendations for you. Biggs, which energy drink should we start with on our 12 drink tier list? Well, should we start with like one of our favorites? I feel like we should start with your favorite and then do mine and then work well, our way down. Let's start with a baseline before we get into the uh, exquisite, one that exotic we like. flavors. Yeah, well like just like a Monster or a Red Bull or you know, just something basic without any extra shit. True. Yeah, we could do that. Let's let's go with Red Bull, yeah. Uh, Red Bull, this is a, uh, a 2021 uh, classic. Uh, made from the, the sweatshop children's tears, I believe, over in uh, nope. Afghanistan. Uh, of course, it contains taurine, which, if you don't know, is an ingredient found in bull mm. semen, which is where Red Bull gets its name. Mm. Notice the color. Looks like fresh piss. Uh, we could... The, the palette. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, mm. yes. It smells like fresh piss as well. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know what this smell is. <laughs> well, Biggs, shall we toast to Red Bull and children in sweatshops everywhere? I actually am a bit of a fan of Red Bull. I will drink it from time to time. It's not my go-to. I do acknowledge that it has a harsh chemical flavor and not necessarily something that even tastes good at all but something about it maybe there's an addictive ingredient in that oh, taurine wow, really you think well something about red bull specifically addicts me more than the other drinks i think bull semen what do you think about red bull i also do like red bull a lot i usually pick that over most others uh there's another one that we'll get to that used to be my all-time favorite but you're right. Um, when I when I taste it, I don't know why, but I, I almost think it's what battery acid would taste like. <laughs> so, but I for some reason I want to keep drinking that battery yeah, acid. Exactly. I it's not even a flavor I enjoy. It's just one that I crave more of. Well, semen. It's very strange. On the tier list, I'm gonna go either high B or low A. What are you thinking? I was thinking B tier. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense yeah, for me. Let's start there. If we have to move it later, that's fine. But for now, B. For bull, my friend. True. Let's go for one we haven't heard of. It's, I've, I've never heard of the Venom drinks. I remember since it's only 99 cents, it was very popular with the white trash uh, friends of ours in high school. I remember our friend Josh and his brother would drink these all the time. Really? Yeah. And let's see if it's worth it, because if it's only a dollar, that's that's three times cheaper than this fucking Red Bull. So maybe I should have been drinking Venom all along. My friend Eminem once uh, wrote a song about this drink because he enjoyed it so much. It goes, Venom, 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 Venom. I don't know if that's why he did that. It, it smells the same. It's uh, It smells slightly sweeter and less toxic than the Red Bull. Mm. 
it does taste a bit sweeter than the Red Bull as well. Yeah, it doesn't. It's honestly not bad. It's very sugary, very sweet, but it, it in a way the flavor is better than Red Bull's. Yeah, it tastes almost the same, just a tad sweeter. It does have 50 more calories. So, but it's also only 99 cents. Oh, and uh, three times the sodium amount. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't think we'll get that too that deep in all of the drinks as far as looking at the backs, but I don't know. It does taste similar, just like you said, sweeter. Yeah. So maybe I, I, it is worth the 99 cents. Oh, it's definitely worth the 99 cents. I'd say it's probably a better deal than Red Bull. The can is bigger. It's cheaper. It tastes about the same, if not slightly better, but. The addictive property of Red Bull, I'm not finding in this. I have no um, incentive or desire to drink more of that, even though I can acknowledge it somehow tasted better. For some reason, <laughs> I would rather have the Red Bull semen. So I almost want to just drop this into B tier as well. Yeah, I could agree with B tier. Okay, let's move on to my personal favorite. I, I gotta move the fucking plastic bag before these cats go crazy. So when I... I'm really desperate for a snack and I'm gonna, you know, order on GoPuff because I'm a lazy piece of shit. My go-to drink on GoPuff is always the the juice uh, Mango Loco Monster. For some reason this one just, you know, it tickles my fancy. I'm guessing I'll give this an S or an A tier just because of my experience with it. But let's see what Biggs thinks of my supposedly favorite energy drink. Yeah, I will say my favorite fruit is mango. So there's a good chance I'm gonna like this. Anything mango flavored, I love. And it literally looks like mango juice. Well, yeah, so far all of them kind of resemble piss. This is a much cloudier, darker piss. Probably what Biggs is used to seeing in the toilet stream. Um, this has a, a very thick syrupy uh, aesthetic. It or, smells or awful. Flavor, or what would you call the, the thick syrupiness of it? Is that just the texture. Yeah, I guess. I I'm not a wine uh, salamier or whatever those fuckers are called. That too. What does it smell like? Awful. It smells like fruity mango to me. Not. Maybe you're not a fan like of mango. Why does yours smell <laughs> weird? <laughs> it smells so bad. Is it? Oh, uh, that must be the the champagne glass that I use to uh, collect my stool samples. Oh, yeah. That's probably why it Even smells like shit. Even though this is not a champagne glass, it's a wine glass. <laughs> Are you drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass? Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass. The smell. The smell hit me so hard when I was taking a drink. Do you want me to get you a new glass? Because yours smells different than mine. Oh, It smells like butthole. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I'll get you a new one between It tastes drinks. pretty good, though. Yeah, I, I love the mango taste. Again, it's very thick and syrupy, which is probably very bad for your insides. We, uh, we're we probably gonna be sick as shit by the end of this video. It is uh, very reminiscent of like the actual mango juice. Like that's the texture yeah, yeah. and flavor I got from it, so. Yeah, I'd say it transcends the other ones. I'm definitely going either high A or low S, I'll let you decide. I would say A tier for me. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. So I guess we'll go to my, my old uh, pick that I would pick every single time I would go to get energy drinks I would get NOS these things I used to be heavily addicted to I'd probably drink like four almost five a day it, it got really bad that explains a lot big and uh, they're really expensive too like a can this size is like five dollars it was <laughs> yeah. god damn it <laughs> so like, I could have got five of the venom 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 they, Taurine is a huge thing with this drink as well. Um, oh, that addictive property, you gotta love it. Yeah, so if I had to say, like, the, the flavor of this kind of reminds me of, like, tangerines, I guess. Is there one that doesn't look like piss? Do they all have to be fucking yellow? Yeah, I think so. Uh, this has more of a citrus smell to it, I think. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I've had a NOS in a long, long time. Let's bottoms up. Oh, that is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's... By far, for me, still, it's the best tasting one. I'd say I do not like it as much as the Mango Monster, but I would still probably drop this bad boy in A tier. It's definitely better than the other two we had. Yeah, and since I threw yours in A, I'll, I'll agree with that. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
from now on, give me less. I, I just want to taste it. I don't want to chug three fucking you, ounces. You put that same amount in mine last time. Yeah, I'm just saying let's slow down a little bit. Because <laughs> <laughs> my heart's already a-pumping. <laughs> well, let's try, I guess, Rockstar. Have you ever had one of these? It's been literally... One probably, week since you looked at me! Probably middle school was the last time I drank one of these. I don't know if I've ever had Rockstar. It has 126% uh, of your daily recommended sugar, though, so that's got to be a good sign. Yeah. Now, we should oh. look at all the cans and see which one has the most sugar. My stomach is uh, already oh. bubbling. We're on number 5 out of 12! <laughs> Almost odorless? Do, yeah. Do you smell anything? I don't smell it. Hmm. For some strange reason, it's reminding me of the flavor of those candy, chalky cigarettes that we got in the mail. <laughs> that might just be a random pull. Um, it reminds me of those. I don't know why I'm getting this, but, um... So I've never, like, continuously, like, vaped. Like, that was never something I did. But whenever I tried somebody else's vape, and like, the the aftertaste of it, that's what I feel like that tastes like, is the aftertaste of a vape. <laughs> the aftertaste just tastes like the aftertaste of those fucking candy cigarettes to me. I, I, <laughs> I don't really like it. I'd give, it's not terrible, but I don't like it. I'd say C tier. Yeah, I, C tier is fine with me. I'd probably put it that or D, so. So you're not gonna party like a rock? Party like a rock. I think C is fine because it's so middle of the road. It's not offensive yeah. to the palate, but it's also just not good. Well, I already know one of these is probably going to be offensive to your palate, but we'll... Uh, Wait, one of these is going to be F tier, you think? For you. Which one? Uh, probably that one. With the Coke and coffee? Yeah. I've gotten that on purpose before. Really? Yeah, because Brutal Moose did a video where he tried it in a Brutal Foods episode, and he, he said it was very interesting. Yeah, because... Uh, the first time I ever tried it was actually when I was down in Florida the last time. And they went to the gas station, the thing of 7-Eleven up the street, and they wanted to get some energy drinks. And they got a couple of those to try them. A couple of these bad boys? Yeah. And they're like, oh, let's just try it. So they tried it, and they were like horrified by the taste. <laughs> they couldn't believe how awful it was. And I drank it, and I was like, this is pretty good, actually. And they had already opened both of theirs, so I was double fisted. Oh, <laughs> I was God. Drinking both of them. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't bad. I think that it's pretty good. Well, we're going to save the coffee flavors for last. Should we jump to the one we were both curious about, the Bang? Yeah, I listen to Asterios Kokonos' podcast he does with his girlfriend, and he's always raving about these because he's, he's on like Weight Watchers or something. And I guess this ha they have uh, the s zero calories in whatever, so. I can only imagine what an energy drink with zero calories will taste like. Yeah, zero percent everything. So if if Rockstar, that tastes C tier, has 126 percent of your daily recommended sugar, is this one going to be that much better with zero sugar? Let's find out. And there were like 15 different flavors, but Big said he heard good things about this rainbow unicorn. That's the one that every time I see somebody drinking Bang, they have this flavor. Ooh, it's it's uh. It's not colored like piss. It looks clear. Yeah, it's. this is what I imagine. Uh, well, it reminds me of LaCroix where it's bubbly but just just looks like water. Or Sprite, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's surprisingly good for zero calories. That is really good. Is this the fucking <clears throat> health food energy drink? Because it's, it's damn good. It really is. Now I see why they always pick that one. I'd probably get that from now on. How much was it? Do you know? I don't remember how much probably it was. Probably like two bucks or three bucks. That's the usual price for these. Yeah, I guess if I wanted to like watch my sugar intake and I wanted an energy drink, I would totally get that again. That's uh, surprisingly good. I don't know if I like it as much as my Mango Monster, but I'd go high B plus, low A minus. I guess we should do the traditional normal ass basic bitch monster how would you describe the flavor of that unicorn drink you know i don't know like initially it almost tasted like cotton candy but then that mm. went away it was just like a really like sweet i don't even know like was it maybe citrus kind of 
I have no clue. I just know it tasted kind of just sweet and good. It's what LaCroix wishes it could be. Yeah, no kidding. LaCro LaCroix is literally just busting a can of Febreze open and drinking <laughs> it. <laughs> Didn't you describe it once as like the, the lemon one you said they took like fermented carbonated water and then put it next to a barrel of lemons? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like they wafted the scent over <laughs> to it. Well, uh, we've all had Monster before, but I guess let's go for it. This looks like... Like, really dehydrated piss. I mean, I think so far all of them other than Bang do. Well, the other ones were brighter, at least. This is like a dark yellow. Yeah, this is a guy who just did a lot of meth. <clears throat> yeah, that's it's Monster. It's Monster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you if you've had Monster, you know Monster. It's a, it's a staple, but it's nowhere near as good as the spin-off versions of it, like the Mango, that I love. Uh, yeah, but, I used to, I used to get the uh, what's it called, Monster Rehabs, like the T ones. Yeah, so we'll try that one pretty soon. But uh, I used to get the the red one. I can't remember what flavor it was, but I used to drink those quite a bit back in high school. Monster's fine. I'd say it's about on par with Red Bull for me. Just I would throw it in basic bitch B tier. Yeah, like, I'd never be disappointed to have a Monster, but it's not great. Well, should we try? Some of this rehab peach tea monster, see if it's better than the original. Yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be. <laughs> it's going to tea. Monster rehab peach tea going in. <clears throat> it's really unsettling at first when you smell it and it smells like peach monster and then you drink it. And you don't get any of the monster flavor at all. No, it's it just tastes like straight up peach, peach tea, tea, but yeah. maybe a little syrupy, thicker. Yeah. But yeah, I don't have any traditional monster flavor on that bad boy. Yeah, if you've ever had a, like a boba tea, where they use like the fruit syrups in the tea, like that's what it reminds me of, is like a peach fruit tea boba. This fucker has 25 calories per can. Why do the low calorie ones taste so good compared to the shit that's like deadly? Because, uh, you know, they got it down. I think energy drinks are probably the one thing where the healthy ones taste the best. Yeah, that's kind of nuts because I, I actually really liked that. And yeah. I'd say it's almost on par with the mango. I'd give that A tier. Yeah, easily A tier. That's nuts. Why? Man, these fucking, the healthy ones are so good so far. <laughs> it's either the healthy, delicious ones or the battery acid that keeps you addicted. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm starting to regret all the times I ordered the the super high sugar, high fucking calorie ones. It's like, man, I could have been drinking something delicious and slightly healthier. Fuck. <laughs> what have I been yeah. doing to my body? So I've never had rain before. This is a razzle berry flavor. This is also zero, zero sugar. Well, hopefully it keeps the train running and it doesn't rain on our parade. <laughs> oh, this one's also kind of, you know, uh, clear. Yeah, clear, watery. Bubbly. Smells like a blue Jolly Rancher. That's pretty good. And that is the closest to a LaCroix flavor that we've had so far. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. No, it's not bad. It, it definitely was a weaker raspberry, blue raspberry flavor for sure. Yeah, uh, all I know is my body is starting to have a reaction to all this uh, yeah. all this caffeine. And my heart is fucking <laughs> pumping hard, dude. I'm starting to sweat. It's almost Call of Duty time. Oh, God. <laughs> That's for the gamer fuel. Um, this one is pretty good. I'd also go high B, low A. Yeah, I'd say that. B is fine. Okay, yeah. It's, uh, very interesting. I'll be fine with that choice. Oh, why did we do 12 of these? Oh, God. You're gotta, the one that wanted to... I, I gotta piss. I'll be right back. Well, while you were gone, I kind of talked to the, the audience a little bit. But I did find the amount of caffeine in this. Right here, it says there's 300 milligrams of caffeine in one serving How's of that comparable to the other drinks? This monster is 150. 150. The bang is double the caffeine? Double. Why? Serving sa size, one can. 300 milligrams of caffeine with wow. literally nothing in it. So you could say that's the best bang for your buck. <laughs> well, we are two epic gamers. We, you know, our KDs in Call of Duty are at least 0. .3 each. So you can I don't tell. know a KD on Call of Duty. 
So you can tell, we drink a lot of <laughs> game fuel. No, not G fuel. This is Mountain Dew game fuel. Charged cherry burst. How much caffeine's in this bad boy? We have 90 calories. Only 90. Only 90. What? 90 milligrams per can. Bullshit. Also, this is... All of them have just like the normal standard uh, tops on them, like you'd find on any can. This has some weird fucking black flat thing. What the hell is this? How do you... I can't wait to see you open it. I don't know how. Do it. And look, there's there's like a, a breakable seal on there. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> yeah, open it. Why are they being so autistic about it? How do you... Which part of it opens? <laughs> do you... Oh, is this open right there? Oh, so you gotta break the seal. Oh. And then does this slide? There you go. It's, so the Dude, thing slides back and forth for the, some reason? The last person I saw buy one of these, it took them 15 minutes to get it open. Was it was it me? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, finally, a different color. Red is what I want to see. It reminds me of uh, Mountain Dew Code Red, my old favorite soda. <laughs> smells a little bit like Code Red, too. It smells like Mountain Dew, yeah. It's like a watered down taste compared of to red. of Code Red. Yeah, definitely. Watered down, only 90 milligrams of caffeine, 90 calories. Not really worth it in my book. No, I'd rather just drink a Code Red, honestly. Yeah. This is like Code Red diet, but it doesn't have the benefits of a diet soda. <laughs> yeah. It just tastes like do, one. Do diet sodas really have benefits? I've heard that they're usually worse for you than the actual sodas. I'm not a soda scientist myself, but I would probably throw this bad boy into C tier. It's yeah. Did you hear that? I would almost. Do you hear? Is is Blaze, is Blaze asleep? And maybe he stopped. He was uh, he's sleeping very loudly somewhere. I could hear him. <laughs> I didn't hear it. But uh, for me, I would almost put that in D tier. D tier. Like oh, it, I mean, it's it's just a watered down code red. It's not yeah, terrible. Yeah, but it only has ninety milligrams for an energy drink. That's weak. That's fair, Might yeah. Might as well just have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or something. But, but are you saying it's the worst tasting of the ten we've done so far, though? Because I don't think that's true. I'd say it tastes better than Rockstar, <clears throat> at least. Then let's move Rockstar to low D. No, because it, it wasn't offensive to the palate. That's why I put him in C. So far, none of these have been so terrible that it, it would go lower than average, which is C, right? I mean, I guess. Then I'll say low C for Yeah, that's fine. I'll go with low C. Well, Biggs, we have two coffee-based drinks left. You want to go with the Starbucks or the Coke? Um, let's go with the Coke. Okay, we've got the dark blend flavored Coca-Cola with coffee. I'm a fan of Coke. I'm a fan of coffee. Let's see if we like them put together. Smells like coffee and Coke mixed together. Wow. Uh, I was expecting to not like the dark blend, but uh, <clears throat> this is actually better than the other one I tried. I don't remember. It's got more of a strong coffee flavor. Yeah, I think I tried the caramel one, but this is definitely <clears throat> way better than that. And it, it's literally just a coffee mixed with Coke. There's, yeah. there's no other way to describe it. So for me, because I know when the other people I mentioned drank it, it was like horrifying for their palate. Because they said it was like a disgusting blend. But for me, I taste Coke and then like a rush of coffee afterwards. Yeah. It's like separated somehow. You gotta keep them separated. Oh brother, this guy stinks! So where are you putting that? I really like it. I would definitely drink that in my free time. This might be controversial. I'm going A tier. Yeah, I can agree with that. I'll go A tier as well. Surprisingly good. I can feel my heart is hurting now. <laughs> yeah, it fucking sucks. <laughs> my heart actually hurts now. <laughs> this is a stupid, terrible idea. Well, our final drink of the night. Well, let's get the water out of here. Yeah, I don't want to contaminate the flavor with water. We've got the Starbucks Double Shot Energy White Chocolate Flavor. I've actually, I gotta be honest, I've gotten this many, many times. Really? Uh, I've tried the mocha and the caramel. I've never tried the white chocolate. When I was 19, I spent a summer working in an office and they had this in the vending machine. And I, since I had to get up at like six in the morning for that job, I probably had one of these every day that summer. So I'm very familiar with it. And if I recall, I uh, very much do like it, but let's see if 
It has changed in the years since. Oh yeah, that's great. It is very smooth going down. Smooth and sweet, coffee flavor, it's everything you want. For some reason I'm uh, leaning more towards the Coke with coffee if I had to choose between the two, but. Really? Yeah, I'd probably get the Coke again. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would go with A tier easily on this one. Yeah, it's, it's easily um, uh, delicious. I think I'm more so biased because I really do like coffee and a lot of other coffee drinks. So I would almost put it in S, but I agree with A tier. Well, we have a whole bunch in A, B, and C. Are any worthy of being moved up to S? Which one of these well, do you think absolutely is you know, the best? Before we, we started this, we had talked about doing one last taste oh, we're, test. We're going to. I just want to rank them individually really quick, just to see if there's one we want to move up before gotcha. we move on to the final boss. So should we agree to move up one, or should we both get one that we would move up. I don't have one in mind. I just wanted to know if you had any thoughts. So for me, I would probably throw the bang up in S tier. Really? The bang was really That's good. your favorite? It tasted the best to me and knowing that it has like literally nothing in it and 300 milligrams of caffeine, to me that's an S tier energy drink. And it was pretty cheap too, I believe, right? Yeah, it was like maybe two bucks, something like that. Wow, so Biggs, you're make you're calling that shot. We should move Bang up to S tier as the I, absolute best. I think I think I would. Okay, well, hey, I'm not gonna argue against it. I guess of all these drinks, Bang is the true victor. But we have one more surprise in store because I thought. You know, how often do you have 12 open cans <laughs> of different energy drinks? What else should we tier other than the combination of all of them? Some people call it a suicide. I like to call it jungle juice. Simeon, Jimmy, jungle juice. Biggs, let's try all of them mixed together and see how it ranks on the tier list. You know, after we mix all this in our stomachs and uh, get it all mixed up in uh, there. This already exists in our it, stomachs. It's probably going to result in a sewer slide. <laughs> oh, you're going to kill yourself? Yeah. <laughs> but I think if over everything, I honestly think the monster's flavor is going to overpower. Really? I think it's, the coffee will. Oh my god. This is horrendous. Take a, take a gander at this, dude. This is... The mixed drink from hell. I'm gonna go get straws so we can mix that up. You gonna chug it? Chug it? I'm gonna die if I chug it. Good. That was the plan. Are you chugging yours? Oh my god, it's literally thick and chunky on top. Are you gonna chug yours? Fuck no. <laughs> I'm not chugging mine. I don't wanna put this foam anywhere near my mouth. It's fucking curdled. So get another straw. It's curdled. Get another straw and we'll drink it from the bottom. No, we can't do that. <laughs> oh my god, please. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's thick on top. I know! It's thick! It's disgusting! Oh my... I'm already having a bathroom emergency, so let's get this over with. <laughs> First, let's smell it before we toast. Oh. Um. <laughs> what does it smell like, buddy? I don't... Is this going on the wheel? It didn't... They, it doesn't even clang anymore. It gave up! <laughs> uh... Go for it, buddy. Delicioso. I don't want the foam on me. Ew. You know, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. The foam is gross. The flavor, pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's, really, it's not bad. Flavor is actually. This looks like. Horrific on top. It looks like a diarrhea sludge nightmare, but what would you say it tastes like? Kind of tastes like 12 energy drinks mixed together. And Biggs is going for the whole glass. Holy shit, you're gonna be dead. <sighs> yeah, if anything, it just. The flavor is very faint. It's. I thought it'd be a really strong flavor, but no, it's. I can't pick out any singular flavor that overpowers. Yeah, it's just like a, a light juice. Really? A light juice with a disgusting abomination on top. Yeah, that is bizarre. <laughs> I would honestly put it in oh. B tier. B tier. Wow, that's hurting my chest. 
Uh, well, yeah, let's I would say it. I would say B tier. That, that so this sense. abomination ranked higher than Rockstar and uh, what? Venom. Yeah, and the Mountain Dew. I thought Venom ranked. I don't remember what it was at. Let us know what drinks we missed out on, which ones you would recommend, and if you were inspired to try any of these based on this video. Biggs, we're back. Season two of Snack Testers. How do you feel? I feel good. You know, I don't feel fucking good. What are you talking about? After last week's debacle with the baby, and now that we're back. I'm, last week. I'm just glad to be back, you know? I think this is a good kickoff for the rest of the season. It should really energize us, if anything. I think they can hear my heartbeat. On the microphone. Yeah, after I chugged half of that cup, my heart is like literally pounding out of my <sighs> chest. Oh my god, this might be the most sick <laughs> I've gotten for a video. Um, if you have any snack tester recommendations, what snacks should we try next time? Let us know. And uh, that's it. Let's go to the bathroom and fucking shit and piss our brains out, bitch. <laughs> Wanna hold hands like Norbit?